for real, we're at the midway point out here in Dubai. Has the intensity from the squad matched what you were hoping for? Yeah, the sessions have been very intense and obviously with the heat, you know, it makes it a lot more difficult for them. But they've acclimatised very well. And that's the idea of the whole week, you know, is to get some intense work into them after them having a, a free week last week. In terms of the benefits you get from actually just spending extended time on the training pitch, you know, what are the kind of main things you want out of it? Well, we're able to work on bigger areas, you know, we're able to work with bigger numbers, whereas, you know, last month with the nine games, you were working with, you know, short short numbers and short, sharp sessions just to keep them ticking over here. The sessions are going to be a lot more prolonged and we'll get more physical work into them and more technical work into them as well. Can you go into more detail then on the training pitch? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, whether it be a technical side of things or basically from a physical point of view, getting them a little bit more cardiovascular into them with them without the ball. Have you started the work on the first game back yet, out here? No, not yet. We'll start to look at that maybe next week. We might do a little bit of tactical work on on Saturday uh, and do a 10 v 10 game. It'll be just a little bit short of numbers, a few bruises, a few knocks, you know, just because of the, the intensity of the work and hopefully we'll have them all available for the weekend. I mean, like, obviously, you, you kind of like to see that the fact that people, the, the guys aren't holding anything back. It shows that everyone here is up for the challenge. Yeah, I, I think... You know, having the week off and having a, a bit of time to think about the last result, you know, is extra motivation for them now to kick on in the second half of the season. And obviously this is a great opportunity to, you know, freshen up, get themselves fitter, you know, get themselves sharper again and look forward to, you know, big games coming up. Have you kind of reinforced the message that we've got the first cup in the bag already and we're still top of the league? Very much so. Yeah, we've had a great first half of the season. Yeah, it finished, you know, very, very disappointingly, and um, that's our motivation now going forward. And we know that there's a lot of football still to be played, so we just take it as we always do. We do our own thing. We we keep everything as much in house as possible, and we come back, um, you know, stronger. I don't think um, there's too much needs remedying, um, but the manner of the defeat was was a sore one for us all, and um, we're over it now, and we're looking forward to a lot of things ahead. And today's session, while it was really intense, it, it was enjoyable. Bit of competition in there, round of drinks involved. Round of drinks involved for the losers, so Brownie's not happy his team lost. But uh, yeah, sometimes when you, you give it a wee bit of an edge, you know, I want that little bit of aggression more into the training now because, you know, when the games are on, you just come off it a little bit. So in terms of sharpness, in terms of, you know, getting over that fatigue factor as well and the physical side of things and the mental side of things, this has been a great week. The facilities here are magnificent. In terms of talking about Bruni for one of them, there's been players here that maybe missed out in pre-season or haven't been exposed to as much first-team training. How have they been, the senior guys, bringing them up? Well, that's right. I mean, you know, you look at Chris Julien and Bolly and you look at Maurice Bauer, even Fraser, you know, they came in late into the pre-season and now they've had, obviously, four or five months with us and now this is almost like a, a mini pre-season again and getting a, they know what the training regime is like, you know, and they're all sort of very proud and they take a lot of pride in their own statistics, as you can see with the, the data. So they're getting as much out of it as they want, really.